All right, so this is magic. And I love magic because it's just this little box that can really change your relationship with the universe. You just carry this outside on a clear night and you look through it. And even if it's just for 10 minutes, you spent that 10 minutes breathing the night air, seeing beautiful stars, our moon, planets in our solar system, even nebulas and distant galaxies, really seeing the beauty of the universe that we're a part of uh, with your own human eyes. No pixels, no screen, the real thing. And uh, we need a break from our lives and uh, even from ourselves. And you know, you can dream about a vacation to a tropical island somewhere, but there's actually an infinite shoreline above your head every single night. And magic will take you there. So who is magic really for? Magic is for all kinds of people. Almost anyone can pick it up and carry it outside. I mean, it's a six inch cube. Magic itself weighs about three pounds and this tripod is really nice and light and really sturdy. It works great. So young or old, anything in between, this is something that you can handle. Um, so magic is for people who like things simple. Check this out. You focus by turning the eyepieces. If your eyes are further apart, then you just pull them apart. If you want to zoom in on something, you just lock the position. You take these eyepieces out and you put in different ones. If you want to point at a particular spot in the sky, there's a green laser beam. Laser beam. And there's even a sight that you can look through too. If you want to move it around, you have this handle. And you just move it like this. That's it. So magic is for travelers. If you can put it in a case like this and you can take it anywhere. If you're headed somewhere with dark skies, um, those skies are going to be unforgettable if you bring magic along with you. And by building yours beforehand, it gives you something fun to do while you're, while you're waiting for that trip. You're counting down those days. It's like, yeah, I'm building my, my gateway to the stars. Now, magic is also for beginning stargazers because it's rewarding. The view through these big two-inch eyepieces is really wide. So you're guaranteed to bump into something beautiful, even if you don't know where to start. Uh, those 10 minutes we talked about, those are all spent enjoying the view. You're not messing around with equipment. You're not looking at star charts. You're just looking through them and enjoying them. And You know, that's how you learn the night sky, if that's what you want to do. Uh, you just look at the sky a little more every night, and then you know a little more every night. You work it into your life like that, and you know, it's something you look forward to, and and then, you know, wherever you're at, wherever your life takes you, you, it's the same sky and it becomes a familiar place that you can always return to. Now, if you're in the city, magic is for people in cities who want their stars back. Uh, when I'm giving a public star party in the middle of our metro, it's about 250,000 people. Uh, we have a lot of light pollution now. I just point magic at one of the hundred stars that we can still see through the light pollution. And I invite people to look through and they're always shocked when they see over a hundred stars just in that one view. And they don't even need to see, you know, something fancy. Just seeing those stars is so unexpected. They always go, wow. And, uh, you know, they even grab this handle and they start looking around on their own. Um, it's really mesmerizing to look through binoculars. And so why is that? Why are these binoculars so great? Why are binoculars better than telescopes for stargazing? Well, um, I've done a couple of things to these to make them a whole lot more comfortable for your neck and uh, for your arms. So we have this 90 degree angle here that saves your neck from any neck strain. You don't have to look, tilt your head back anymore. And then this tripod means you don't have to hold binoculars steady. And so, um, that just makes it a lot more pleasant, honestly. 
And uh, of course, binoculars are a lot more comfortable than telescopes because you have both eyes open. You feel so much more relaxed and the view is brighter, it's sharper, and it's much higher contrast. And so it's just a lot punchier view. Uh, so now you're really ready to explore the sky because you're comfortable. So instead of just grabbing these quick, uncomfortable peaks here and there, the stuff that other people have put on lists and decided that you should look at, um, you just wander around and explore, and it's great. And uh, of course, you can see more than stars with these. I mean, zooming in on the moon in any city, no matter what the light pollution, is a beautiful way to spend some time each evening. You watch as the craters change through the lunar month, and um, the planets are another thing you can do. Um, you can chase them through the sky, and when you zoom in by using these other eyepieces, you can see Saturn's rings, and you can see Jupiter's moons, and uh, things like that comet that just came through. That was beautiful from my front steps with these. And then, uh, so we have these filters that can help us see nebulas. Uh, you know, nebulas like the Great Orion Nebula, um, right from an urban site. So here's the thing is, usually filters come like this. Instead of having to screw these delicate optics onto the back of an eyepiece in the dark, the way telescopes make you do, Magic has these uh, handy magnetic cartridges. They just drop in. So now you have your filters in and you can see your nebulas. And these cartridges work with uh, the other models uh, Analog Sky is working on too. Um, so urban stargazing is good, but of course going to a dark site in a rural area is even better. You can see all kinds of galaxies, the Andromeda Galaxy, stellar nurseries, supernova remnants, dark nebulas, just absolutely amazing views. And at a real dark site, uh, you know, even experienced stargazers can see things they've never seen through a telescope, like the Heart and Soul Nebula, the Angelfish Nebula, um, Bernard's Loop, the North American Nebula, uh, together with the Pelican in one view, um, that newly discovered O3 arc next to M31, and uh, even IFN. You know, you mount your binoculars on a tripod, you get this comfortable neck position, you add filters, and you can see so much more than you can see with just regular handheld 7x50s. Um, you know, if you've, if you've never thought the words scutum looks incredible, uh, there's a whole new sky for you to explore. So yes, magic is definitely for experienced stargazers too. I mean, for you to enjoy, but also for inviting other people along. So, I mean, think about all the people in your life who would join in if you know, they had something that was so easy and fun to look through and just explore around as you share the night together. So, uh, you know, last off, magic is also for people who have a hard time using binoculars. So mass manufactured binoculars have all the optical adjustments locked down. And this leaves a lot of people out uh, who have different vision if their eyes are a little different from normal or whatever. If you've looked through binoculars and you've only experienced double vision, well, magic, has these knobs on the back for you. So this one moves the left eye up and down. This one moves the right eye left and right. And so that means that you can make the view work for you. All of a sudden that double vision is one beautiful picture. And um, it's, kind of, it's kind of wild that that isn't a feature on any binoculars yet, but there you go, here they are. So if any of those people sounds like you, magic is your new amazing way to experience the night sky. You know, building it is easy and it's a lot of fun. We have step-by-step -step video instructions and uh, people of all ages can do it. So uh, like, subscribe, go to analogsky.co and uh, sign up to be notified when this thing is ready. We'll have a special early bird offer for you. And um, thanks for checking it out. the nerdy technical details for all the people who want nerdy technical details okay so what do we have here 50 millimeter multi-coated achromatic objectives up front they have 182 millimeter focal length so 50 millimeter diagonals in the back here for maximum illumination of these two inch eyepieces so 
you're sitting at f3.7 and these 26 millimeter eyepieces work great as your widest so you get 7x for the magnification you get a 10 degree field and that's a seven millimeter exit pupil now you can get wild with it and put in even wider eyepieces the exit pupil gets bigger than your eye but the views are something else like a 36 millimeter eyepieces for instance give you a 14 degree field so that's the whole w of cassiopeia in one picture uh, you know, zoom in, you can put four millimeter right pieces in here to get up to 45x at one millimeter exit pupil. Uh, standard two inch filters and the laser is a true class 3A at four milliwatts direct drive so it works in the cold and no infrared leak. Uh, so that pretty much covers all the technical stuff. Uh, for those of you who are printing your own uh, pet G 0.4 millimeter nozzle three walls, 25% infill, internal parts are all black, all the parts fit on a Prusa mini bed or larger. Um, you can probably get it all done in one kilogram, but you know, you probably want to split it up to, to uh, come up with a cool color for the outside, right? All right, that's magic. <laughs>